Hello everyone, I'm Oroporo and this is episode 30 of Spontaneously Combusting Facing Santa Run in Caves of Cud. Uh, and I see that guy over there and don't want to fight him. I want to come over here and see what... Should be a computer in here. Wait till... Aha, uh -huh, it's her disk. Yeah. Finish the quest. And click. Wonder what that was. Over there. Whoa. He has a uh, something powerful. That gives a punch. Whoa, my, these things in here are not very good. Uh, let's phase out and get out of here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. I don't really think we need to be there anymore. I don't have to actually kill him, I just needed to do that thingy, Bob. Yeah. Return to Gridgate. That's all I need to do. Uh, let's do that. Uh, I had enough of this place. Uh, tools. Gridgate recoiler. Pew! And we're here. Let's go speak to the guy. Hello. Your turn. Have you succeeded in decoding the signal? Yes. Well done, appreciate. Oh, appreciate. Well done, apprentice. Present the data disk. But I was just, I was about to say present the data disk, but it's just the disk. Cool. I've been promoted to the journey friend. And got more experience. So, what's next? Must bring the decoded signal to the bathroom immediately. Return in a few hours. By then I'll have discussed our next course of action with the bathroom and will have further instructions for me. Well, for you. Uh, okay, okay. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. You here already? No? Let's wait a hundred turns. Of course, start the burning. Um, what do we got? No, oh, one mutation, please. Cool. Um, phasing's quite good. Up my ass quite a bit. And agility only 23. We need two more. Be a happy camper. But I believe we only need that much of it. Um, 200, uh, well, we actually need like uh, 600, 900, oh, get all of these. See you, a couple more levels and I should have stuff. Wait, 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 still not here. Uh, I'll check if this guy has anything good to sell, if, oh no, they're all Disgusting stuff, I guess. Um, in the back, you see. Hello, cute girl. What does Kitzel mean? Uh huh, Kitzel. Cool. What you working on? Okay, dissertation of the illegitimacy, illegitimacy of power. Kitzel. Cool, I like that. I'm still waiting. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna come back, guy. Get him. Get him. Get him. <gasps> a bunch of books. Is that a plush? What? Let's see. Chair bear. Yeah, nice. 
What do we got here? Oh, let's read just in case. Good. Maybe. Maybe not. Bunch of books. I'm hoping there's something that can teach me something that doesn't look like it. Probably would say. Helps, right? All of this. To allow moisture to evaporate. No. Rubs. Uh, we could steal all these books if we close the doors in here. But. Leave it here. He's still not back. Uh, famished. I'll make. I cannot make the uh, uh, fire. But... Oh, do you have food? Cool. Let's see. Some porridge. I'm on fire. Still not here. Ah, oh, here he is. Hello. Uh, that's my name. I was wondering what's that? Chuvimurak. I brought the Dakota signal to Barathrum and he's finished musing on it. We have fresh instructions for you, Journey friend. Are you ready to hear them? Oh yeah. So Barathrum needs you for an undertaking of great importance. You must journey to Omon Porch, part of the north. There the spindle stretches from earth to sky. Unfortunately, a troublesome merchant from the consortium of Phyta has relocated there and declared itself Earl of Omniporch. We need you to bro broker a deal to s uh, so that we may lease control of the spindle. Failing that, you'll need to dispose of the self-appointed Earl. Be careful on your approach to Omniport's journey, friend. So far east into the reaches of Kud, the Putus Templar will light, lie in wait. Oh, hi. Wow, the Putus Templar. Putus Templar, or the sons and daughters as they call themselves, are an order of knights who claim descendancy from the Eaters, the ancient folk who wrought the chrome halls of Kud. Beware them. For while they despise all mutants, they harbor a special malice for Barathrum. Take care that you do not find yourself inside one of their slave pens. Ooh. And what's the purpose of this? Okay, it will be revealed. Do not forget your place, join a friend. Okay, okay. I will accept it. Right, we got a new quest. Yeah, I still got 10 minutes. Uh, I'd like to sort my stuff out. So, I reckon I'll... Hold on, I don't think I have any chests on me. Do I? That would be planners, probably. Gold key. I don't think I have any. So, uh, I'll probably jump to Joppa, drop stuff there, or grab a chest, bring it in here. Uh, let's go to Joppa. It's she. Uh, I was about to say, let's check. Yeah, uh, 
I managed to say let's chi. Make sure of this. let's see and let's check what time has been. offer. Okay. Thank you great. Yeah, nothing. Really. So should we drop in here? I need to check what's that. Since can do that inside there. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know what keeps picking those slender things out. But that is a scrolling chair. I don't think I'm gonna need that. More food. And what else we got? Bunch of weapons. Probably just drop stuff in here to me. Room. Don't have any um, merchants on hand that would sell good stuff. I oh, don't really have anything I could use this for at the moment. So why not just get rid of this? Chain gun. There's a rifle I'll keep. Okay. Wonder if I need that uh that of the skin mom. Alright, I could from these here as well, just to lighten my weight. Yeah, I should have done that uh, before I went to Bethesda, but I uh, wasn't that smart. Okay, here we go. We got a bunch of room now, and. We could go to Kuakuya or even to Bela because I still haven't done that quest there. And let's go to Bela, finish that up. Of course, there's nothing to take. So, this is just a wee quest. As far as I know, it has two different outcomes. After doing it once, it's not as interesting anymore. Well, after doing it twice in both outcomes. So I'm not sure if there's any other outcome possible. Probably, maybe. Uh, let's just walk around. Oh, dog explorer. Still got six minutes. Okay, let's speak to you. Yes, go on. Alright, I'll find your treasure. As you say. Go. Cool. I speak to the warden. Okay. Where's that? Uh, east, okay. That always changes, so I need to check. Yeah, let's grab everything that's not nailed to the floor. 
All right. This. That they're working a hammer. Okay. It might be different every time, I don't know. Like, way different than I would. I'm thinking. Steel. There should be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what's here? Coroner, where these enigmatic instructions seek. Okay. Grab it. Eat the tail of every shopkeeper. Okay. Surprisal. Can never have. Oh, you are my enemy now as well. Not to worry. And you're going east, I guess. Scared of that thing. Oh. Alright. Bid. Oopsie, I'm on fire. Here somewhere. Poor twice. Someone should give me a thing. Boom. No experience, no point of killing you. What was that? Two step whoops. Um oh. Um read this. Um fertilize and cleave through two snaps armor, you take one eleven damage, two steps explosion, okay. So he just exploded. I uh, don't think he managed to take anything away from me. I hope not. Just ran into it like a fool that I am. <clears throat> Is this east? I think it's east. Maybe I'm following instructions uh, orally. Maybe I'm going in the wrong way. In the wrong place. In the wrong way. Something exploded then. I don't think I uh, should be here. I think I went too far. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I doubt that they're here. So, um, yeah, I think they're staying in the jungles. Back. This guy. Um, where could they be? 
much expect them to be able to finish the quest of this episode a bit, it doesn't appear they're going to be able to. Source feet. <laughs> let's leave him. Right, so that's the end of the episode already. And this was episode 30 of spontaneously combusting, phasing Santel run in Caves of Cud. Mm, managed to finish the Bethesda Susa quest and actually survive it. Happily, I didn't need to kill the, ha the high priest. <laughs> that would be a pain in the butt. Where could that guy be? Hiding. Well, girl. As well, I'm not sure if I would have been able to. I'm going west, not east. I'm um, silly boy. I'm a silly boy. It's this way. Yep. So, go find her first. Then I'll finish off the episode. Denver. Let's grab this. And this. Ooh, Jello Weep. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Spirit. Uh, I think they should be around here somewhere. Let's no, no, no. Let's just grab it. Well, grab that too. No, just grab the chest. Are uh, they here? Maybe. Oopsie! Did I got some infection now? Do 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 do. Brain sense. Uh huh. Cold and spores off. Okay. And still covered in spores. Am I not? Yeah. That's not good. That's real bad. Um. The two effects, okay. So, um, do we have any honey? I don't think that's gonna help me. And crank, 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 and pour all on myself. Don't remember which one it is. Uh, they don't seem here. Yeah. I have stupidly stepped on the room. Oh, let me. Be a structure of some. Basically, hiding that structure. I can't find them. Woo woo woo. Don't rush. Like her carbide sword. Uh, I think that's the place. Right, so. Oh, yeah, that's the letter that she wrote. I just picked it up. Looks as it. Crumpled sheet of paper. Read. Uh, that's what she wrote. The, a poem of some sort. And she's somewhere here. There they are. Dip. Dip. Uh, 
Okay. back to that Bela village. Who's here? Gentle we okay. Bela. And she should be here. Right. That's it. Uh, let's end the episode. As I said, this was episode 30 of Spontaneous Looking Person Facing Santa Run Capes of Cod. Uh Spend a bit of more time uh, looking for this lady. Yeah. And yeah, I'll finish this quest in the next episode and we'll go to Kekua and do the quest in there. Why not? Right, guys, it was me, Oroporo. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.